So I'm coming from Bretagne and my parents were not really into art. But at this time, I really loved manga, drawing and stuff like that. And we had our first family computer. So I went to forum, I discovered the community online of uh, manga and drawing. And in this forum, there were some people making a kind of GFX. It was called like that at this time. And I really love it, like this image, banners and avatar for the people of the of the community. So I was searching how they can do it, how I can do it, because it, it's really cool. And I found out that it was from Photoshop CS2 at this time. So my father took Photoshop CS2 and I got into that. And I work a lot uh, at this time. I was like 12 or 14, about this age. And I learned a lot in Photoshop. Then I went to art school, I went to graphic design school, and then I discovered motion design and 3D, and I'm still working on it right now. <laughs> so after Goblin School, I go directly into freelancing, and I was uh, starting to work with Cinema 4D and learning 3D into the, the website as Grayscale Gorian I design and yeah I was posting a lot on Instagram and that gave me some work, some collaboration with artists and after that I made some new contact with a design studio, creative studio in Paris and I was getting into the motion design world like that and after that I, I made a lot of new uh, discoveries and new collaborators and yeah that was by Instagram I think that I started my career. I think I have met many mentors in a different time and these people were really important at a precise time and I, I don't have like one mentor who is driving me all the time. I met like uh, for example a, a teacher at school that told me uh, when I was doing some stuff in Photoshop, she told me like, you know, that that's a real job, that it exists. Graphic design is a real job. And that was the first people like telling me that. And, and I discovered the graphic design because of, uh, of this teacher. And I get into art applied at school. And, and I met a new teacher that told me, uh, you are, now you are in art, you have to be sponge, you have to, to be, uh, to, be, to observe everything around and, uh, and all this stuff has to be your inspiration and you have to invest that in your work. And I think that was my second mentor, kind of mentor, because she helped me a lot in, in the art vision. And then I, I went to Gobelin and then I started working and I met this guy from, uh, from Athens, Tony Zagolaios. And he helped me a lot at the beginning because he, he made me discover all the 3D art the 3D industry in the studio, how you can build a, uh, how you can build up a team, and uh, make some cool project, and yeah, that was awesome. So I met a lot of great people, and I think all these guys are my, my mentors, <laughs> kind of. So I learned 3D at Goblin School in Paris. We had the media ID as a teacher and he, he teaches us the basic techniques of Cinema 4D, animation, how to put keyframes, how to model uh, simple stuff. And then after Goblins, I was not really into 3D, but I discovered like the work of Peter Tarka and Nouria Madrid, Pablo Alfieri, that are really nice uh, 3D artists. And I, I was like, oh, I want to, to do some stuff like that too. I want to know how they do it. So I was searching on the internet, some tutorials and stuff like that. And I found Grayscale Gorilla and iDesign. And I watched all the tutorials of this website. So I think all the, most of the things I know right now is from Grayscale Gorilla and iDesign. And of course, YouTube and Vimeo and all these sources, the public sources, I think. Uh, I think I don't really have a typical day uh, like because it really depends on the period. If I, if I have a project, I will wake up at 9 or 10 and work uh, all day long on the project and 
maybe late if I want to finish a visual or to do something precise. But in another time, if I don't really have project and I take a break, I will wake up at 11 or 12 and watch movies and just go to the office to see my friend and have a, have a meal. Or it really depends of the, of the period, yeah. There is some break time and some work time and I kind of alternate that to, to create better, I think. <laughs> My favorite project is the, the project I made for Adult Swim that was a complete white, white card and I was the idea of making a big head like demon head moving like it's popping out of a TV and something really uh, really fast and cool like uh, and that was the first time I wanted to make character in 3D so for this project, I learned ZBrush and that was a, a great discovery. I was like, wow, it's crazy. It's like clay. You can model everything on ZBrush and, and it's a really creative, creative software. So it was really nice. And at this point, I had this face moving in the screen and it was missing something like a graphic element to make it to fulfill the composition. And I knew this guy called uh, Florent Teyad, and he's an awesome cell animator. So I call him to make some smoke around uh, the face, like it, it's uh, expiring smokes from the, from the nose and the mouth. And he came at my place for one week and he did all the cell animation. We were working together in my tiny flat in Paris and that was a really good time. <laughs> so that, I think that's my favorite project. I think the most important project I work on is uh, Repeat. It's my first uh, self-initiated project. And I made this project at the beginning of, uh, of my 3D work. And at this time, I was doing a lot of 3D animation on Instagram, but really tiny animation with, without uh, a lot of meaning. And I was asking myself what I'm going to do now. I have to do something bigger to to maybe share an idea, to, to put some meaning in my work. So I created Repeat and that was the occasion to, to learn a lot. And uh, I made a lot of tutorial to make this video. So I made a lot of pro uh, progress at this time. And it had really good feedbacks in the motion design community. So it gave me a lot of confidence to continue this work in 3D and to continue in motion graphics because that was the begin for me. So yeah, I think that's why the repeat is the most important project. Uh, the concept between living room is pretty simple. It, we had only one word, it was horizon. And I decided to, to understand this word by the horizon of life. So I created different room and each room represent like a part of the life. So when you are a kid, for example, you are using like toys, cube with letter, wooden toys and stuff like that. So I create a first room for this age and there is a sphere who represents the, the human, like the people, the character of the movie. And this sphere is passing through the different rooms and it's passing through the first room of kid. Then it goes to the, to the young time, let's say, or you are just learning at school to write, to read and you have this exercise of students, then you become like a high school student. So you go to party, you make some friends, you are listening music, then you become an adult. So you are building your, your own space, you are building your house, you are choosing your furniture, your couch, for example, and stuff like that. So, so I, I animate that. And then you, you become old. So you have like all the stuff for all people, and there is a room for that. So each room is an age and then you finish your life. So the sphere is going back to the horizon. So that was the main idea behind the living room, just like each stage of the life and to represent that by the, by the furniture and, and yeah. <laughs> That's a difficult question <laughs> to, uh, to answer because I think the, uh, my inspiration is coming from everything 
around me, like the environment, the books, the the design of uh, other artists, like it's coming from everywhere. And then when I have uh, a project, I try to blend everything and to to make some choice for sure to to make it work. But yeah, it's coming from everywhere. It can be an art book. Uh, a movie or illustration or just a quick talk with a friend or I don't know when I'm walking the streets so something that it's passing next to me or yeah it can be a lot of different stuff <laughs> I think I build up, build up my style uh, through the time by uh, like starting from graphic design and learning the roots of graphic like typography composition and then moving to motion design and animation and 3D gave me a lot of uh, new techniques that I can blend and mix with the graphic design. And I think my style is coming from that and it, it's still not really fixed. It's still evolving every time with what happened in my life and stuff like that. So yeah, my, I build my style just by the, the inspiration I have uh, in my everyday life. I didn't really choose the color pattern to be honest. I just wanted to make like colorful animation and to mix it with uh, realistic uh, 3D texture because I like to do it. And I, I, it was not intentional to use a colorful uh, pattern and colors. I think it, it came it came up naturally, and I liked it, and I continue to do it, and it's still evolving for sure. But I think I, I don't really like to share some dark visual with, with only one light and I, I prefer to really work on the lighting and to, to make something bright and, and happy. <laughs> I think there is, no, uh, there is no one shape to describe me as a person because I made a lot of different stuff and different emotions so it's changing a lot. But I would like to be like a cycle because it's really smooth and really cool. It's not really like sharp and edgy, but at the same time, <laughs> you have to be square because you have to, to make some choice and to, to have some really precise knowledge and to be a bit edgy <laughs> at some point, maybe. <laughs> I don't know, yeah. <laughs> so it's a mix of shapes. <laughs> Um, in my spare time, I would like to do sport, but to be honest, I don't really do sport. So I, I love cinema, I love movies and animation. So I spend a lot of time to watch movies and stuff like that and to read manga and illustration. But I think my hobby, my main hobby is uh, cinema and movies. For me, it's really difficult to find a good balance between personal and commercial because I would like to blend uh, the two uh, together. <laughs> I would like to make some personal commercial. I would like to make some... Uh, I have a lot of freedom into commercial work and to put uh, my style into that. So when I'm doing some personal work, usually I post it on Instagram or on my website or on Vimeo. And I try to, to feel the people that they can call me for that and to make it for commercial. So I don't want to really separate commercial and personal stuff. Just want to blend it <laughs> together. I didn't really thought about that before because I want to do graphic design from I'm really young. I was drawing as a as a kid and stuff like that. So it be it it became for me like a, an evidence, <laughs> let's say, that that was normal for me to do it. But I think if I didn't meet the good people at the, at some point, I, I was going to do some scientific stuff like. Uh, generalist, uh, scientific, maybe, uh, I don't know, uh, engineering or... <laughs> I don't really know, really cla class... Yeah, I cannot really describe. It's pretty blurry for me. <laughs> I, 
I have this movie that I remember from an old time. It's uh, like the Bruce Lee movie. <laughs> I was watching that really early when I was young with my father. And Bruce Lee was like fighting and doing some crazy stuff. And <laughs> that thing, the, I think that's the, the oldest uh, remember I have from movie. And I still continue to watch Kung Fu movie because I really like the, the Japanese style and, and how they can film and move into this movie. That, that's crazy. <laughs> that's not really the, the Euro European or American style. So I really like this, uh, this kind of movies. And still in the kind of Chinese Japanese style, I really like the animation and style they have for that, like Miyazaki or Oh, Porco Rosso. Porco Rosso is my favorite animation movie. It's crazy. It's, it's so sweet and the direction is awesome. All the characters are really great. It shares some amazing ideas. So yeah, I think that the most, the, the most uh, important reference for me are Bruce Lee, <laughs> Kung Fu movie, and, uh, and Porco Rosso. Yeah, that's my, my main uh, movie. I really like it. There is one guy I'm following from almost the beginning when I started 3D animation and sorry for the pronunciation, maybe it's called Michael Marsueski or something like that, it's pretty difficult to pronounce it, but sorry Michael. <laughs> and he's doing crazy animated stuff and the animation is it's so high level and I really like the ideas between this project and well, it's, it's really great. So if you see that, Michael, I would love to work with you. <laughs> so at the, at the beginning, when I was learning, making tutorials, uh, one friend of mine told me, oh, you should create an Instagram account because it, it can give you the occasion to share your work and to show your progress. So I was okay, why not? I, I didn't really know Instagram at this time. So I created my profile, uh, Melvin sur la table, and I started to post everything I made because I want to see my progress uh, in the time. And at what point I was like, okay, uh, give me some works and stuff like that. But, but that was not the main point as the, at this time. It was not to get some work. It was like for me, uh, a sketchbook. When, when you have a sketchbook, you draw your ideas and you are free to, to do everything. And for me, Instagram is the same. You post everything you want. You can, it's just your, your sketchbook, but a digital sketchbook and animation sketchbook. And for me, uh, that's the, the role of Instagram. It's not to find work, it's just to express yourself. And you post it and okay, let's go. Let's create something else now. And I have my sketchbook, I have different style in Instagram. So yeah, it's just like uh, your sketchbook. <laughs> to be honest, I, I don't really know what will be my next step, but in, in terms of work, I would like to, to blend more my personal style, the stuff I make for Instagram to to put it more into the commercial stuff for the client and to make more creative uh, stuff for the clients and for the commercial work. And <laughs> if, I, if I have to, to quit motion design at one point, I think I will become a cooker and make some uh, kitchen stuff <laughs> because I, I really like food, but I'm not really good uh, about cooking. So maybe take some lessons to become a cook. It, it can be nice. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I would like to say to Motion Plus Design, thank you for getting me here. <laughs> it's really cool and thank you for all the work you are doing for the motion graphics industry. And thanks to Cook <laughs> for uh, inviting me. Uh, yeah, that's all. <laughs> thank you guys. <laughs>